had foot issues kind of halfway through the season that I've been battling. Um, but like I said, I've never had a stress fracture. So I've, I feel like I've been playing on it for like the last four to five maybe, but I wasn't as bad as it was. That play did re-aggravate it and may, it could have pushed it to another level, but no, nah, it's not something that just happened uh, one day. Um, obviously a stress fracture is an injury that happens over time. And it was something that I was just battling and we were um, rehabbing. Yeah, Isaiah, what has Alex told you about the possibility of you playing in the tournament? And, and I guess, what is the rehab plan like for you? I mean, what do you have to do to, to try to, if that's possible? Yeah, uh, me and Alex, since it was so sudden yesterday, we haven't got the chance to even talk about, discuss any type of returning date. Uh, we're just focusing on each day and trying to rehab it as best as possible. Um, I know they put me in a boot which is comfortable, it keeps me off my foot, um, can reduce time. But, you know, he says it's one of those things where you just got to further evaluate. And each day, like each week, you got to figure out what's going on with it. But, um, yeah, that's, that's it. Can you explain what the, this last 24 hours has been like emotionally with that news? Yeah, it was, it was awful, honestly. Uh, just, you know, kind of like thinking about when I first stepped on campus and then to now, I kind of feel like I'm in this same situation. Ironically, last year, the NCAA tournament was announced that it was canceled and Big Ten obviously wasn't going to further plan any games and it just sucked. I kind of felt like Xavier Simpson and John Teske, how their, Simpson, uh, how their season got short last year around this time. And, you know, you just hate to see it, but, you know, I got a leader uh, named Coach Howard, Jawan Howard, who really helped me. Um, once I got the news, I, he was the first person I talked to on the phone. And it just says a lot about his character. He was there for me, he understood. And it was just, I don't know, it was comforting, especially hearing his voice. I had no words, but you know, he did all the talking for me. I didn't have to speak. So that helped and I got to talk to my parents, my family, most importantly, uh, and I was, that really helped me get through it. And then the best thing about it is we had a game the next day. So I already knew I had to put it aside, put myself aside and start thinking about my team. And, you know, we did our best today and we fought really hard.